Should have seen it coming. Hit the ground running in the opposite direction cause my life was meaning nothing to those cops with the guns in hand. Pop, 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 pop. There we go again, got a, another badge of honor running cross his shoulder, man. But why's it gotta be life is value less than non-living property. Things that don't walk, things that won't talk, things with no soul, things without heart. Object by every sense of the word, got more worth than a life that's absurd. But how else could they own a human being, unless they were to reduce them to a thing? Sell a trade and made it complicated, debated the price of which it was stated, said a place was traded just to be waited, but the coldest shit that I ever did see was to make us think that they ended slavery. But have you ever actually read Amendment 13? Where they made an exception to hope you're peeping a lesson. The crime clause is justification to move and arrest them. To conceal and punishment, enslavement, investment, fine of this nation, black belt, southern tribulations. Fat cats with fat pockets getting richer than George Wallace on Jim Crow politics. In the name of the greatest people that have ever trod this earth, I draw the line in the dust and toss the gauntlet before the feet of tyranny, and I say segregation now, segregation tomorrow, and segregation forever. <laughs> Well, Booker T was like, just take it, we'll make it. The boys was like, fuck these haters and face out and KKKs, get educated and take the ballot box before they engage it. Because section two of the 14th Amendment stated it gave basis for felony disenfranchisement, which was a slap to the faces of the newly liberated. Because this whack ass system, yo, they couldn't change it because they couldn't vote to replace it. Black codes were the new modes of enslavement. Chain gangs work in the pavement, repaying the debt to society that was never lent shady in the first place. Black Wall Street, the first case. Tulsa, Oklahoma, Metropolis, and rival New York's monopolies with black teachers, lawyers, and doctors. Separated from white culture was obvious. That integration anomalous like the Battle of Salem is not analogous to the Freedom Riders of 1961. Pete Gang, son of the sun. Anubis, Akhenaten, Timbuktu, Cairo, Addis Ababa, Abyssinian, Zulu, who knew that the negative language in the 15th Amendment could or would be used for legal lynching and social estrangement. Like, fuck the arraignment went from, there's a tree, let's hang him. Blood on the leaves. Billy Holiday's strange fruit, to get a assassination, state sanction for those who escaped the new Jim Crow with, and prison slave labor. Yo, for real though? These crooked ass cops ain't nothing but modern day slave catchers. The Fugitive Slave Clause, Article 4, Section 2, and I quote, no person held the service of labor in one state under the laws thereof, escaping into another, shall in consequence of any law or regulation therein be discharged from such service or labor, but shall be delivered up on claim of the party to whom such service or labor may be due, end quote, is still in force and on paper. And you cannot even begin to debate it that the three-fifths clause of Article 1, Section 2 has been erased when prisoners who cannot vote are still being counted as voters in the states they are encaged in, regardless of whether or not that was the state from which they originated. Also, that Congress can have more seats in office. What I'm saying is that I should have turned away because black lives in this nation with these rules and these ideological traces are not valued on a basis of our being human beings, but rather on the sweat that our labor displaces. And that is why these cops get away with emptying cases and our hides on a damn near daily basis because, yo, this system is racist.